Ever since I was a child, I've always been curious about the Lunchable. And it's not any of the important questions like how many calories are in it, or whether there's even enough in here to sustain a child. It's the question of, what's the best way to put it together? And I know I'm not the only one. There's definitely gonna be people watching this right now who've had Lunchables before and have always thought to themselves, what's the perfect balance of ingredients? Now, am I making a video about Lunchables because I want to eat a Lunchable? Yes. But does that mean that my research is any less necessary in this world? No, it does not. Also, I want to point out, I did actually buy a, like a standard ham Lunchable, like the one I used to have when I was a kid, but I got hungry before I recorded, so I ate it. So I've got a chicken one. But I assume they come as a standard. Like the, the same number of crackers to cheese to chicken or, or ham or salami over the fuck's in it. I assume it comes as a standard, but we're going to find out. We're going to find out how many of each thing is in this. I always seem to have one of something left. I've always got like, oh, there's one cracker left or there's one piece of cheese, but Surely, it's got the exact amount of everything, right? So, let's open the Lunchable. Oh, well, right away, we've already got one broken cracker, which is not good for an experiment. I, I was going to actually buy, like, ten of these and just do, like, a um, like an average result, but something tells me that they are just... They're obviously manufactured for standards, so... Right, let's have a look what we've got. So, oh, also, I have sterilized and cleaned this table and my hands. So, it is as clean as anything else in this flat. Okay, let's see how many crackers we have. You, the cursed cracker. Do I even have a full one I can construct? Oh, it's like a jigsaw. That'll do. Okay. How many do we have? So, this pack has come with eight crackers, as you can see eight crackers. Now, if my theory is correct, there should also be eight pieces of ham. I mean, chicken. Great. Good take, Brad. Oh, there are. Wait, could this be the solution? All these years I've been wondering why there's an imbalance, and the reason why there's an imbalance in these is because I'm a greedy fuck and I kept putting too many things on each slice. What do you know? The Lunchable pack is empty, and I have eight perfectly prepared little Lunchable snacks. Does it actually tell you? Like, I'd, I'd be annoyed if it said in the pack, like, makes eight little sandwichy things. I've solved something that I've been wondering for years. Like, how are you, I guess, supposed to put these together? Because the whole, like, the gimmick of it, because this, this, I got this for a quid, it was on sale. But, the gimmick of it is meant to be that you can build your own little snacks. So they charge more money for it, even though what you're basically getting is eight tiny crackers, eight tiny pieces of meat, and eight tiny bits of cheese. I can't believe I'm making a video of this. <laughs> uh. The next question would be, what's the best way to actually stack them? Because you could do like little sandwiches where you put one on top of the other, I like so, and you would make a little, uh, a little sandwich, as you can see. But then, any time you alter the number of ingredients per bit, you can get the imbalance. And that means that you're going to be left with, like, a cracker at the end. Because nobody is going to double up on the crackers. Everybody wants the extra stuff in the middle. Okay, I've stored long enough. We all know what's going to happen next. I am going to make the tower. <laughs> this was always going to be a thing. Right, how tall does it actually get and can I eat it? Because I actually thought there were more than eight in the pack. I always thought Lunchables had more, unless they've reduced the quantity since I was a child, because companies be like that. That's not even big. That's tiny! Oh my god! So, um, there is a future video coming at some point this year called The Scooby-Doo Sandwich, and I don't even need to explain what that is. This is, I guess, a precursor to that, which is the Lunchable stack. And it's shit! Look at it! It's tiny! It's fucking... Who would... If I was a kid... I mean, if I was a kid, this would probably look a lot bigger, to be fair. But as an adult right now, an adult who woke up about two or three hours ago and actually hasn't eaten anything yet, this is not enough to satisfy me. Look at me, I'm a bit big boy. Not enough to satisfy. I mean, I could actually have bought more than one Lunchable, but I am supposed to be on a diet and I already ate my other prop earlier this week, so... 
I'm also really aware that I've built this with the broken one on the bottom. So, I wonder if I can... Surgeon's hands. Delicate. Right, well. Should I try and get this all in my mouth in one go? That's going to be a good end to this video, right? I, I've been saying about how it's tiny. But look at that. Look. I reckon I can get this all in one go. I don't know whether I'll be able to chew it, but... Yeah, I reckon, it, I reckon it'll all go in. There are people out there who've put bigger than this in their mouths. And they don't even get to eat, like, swap. Well, I was going to say, no, they, they, you, know, you all know what I was going to say. I'm not finishing that sentence. Right. Oh, no, I dropped a piece. Well, it's going to be a bit easier then. Does this have a slogan? Stack. Snack. Satisfy. <laughs> It's so dry. Holy f it's so dry. How do you realize it was dry? I remember when I was a kid, there was this challenge, like a Guinness World Record challenge, where you had to eat three cream crackers in the fastest time possible. And whenever anyone hears that challenge, <coughs> oh my God, I've inhaled some. Whenever anyone hears that challenge, they always think the same thing, which is, Obviously, that's not difficult. Like, it's three crackers, but you can't chew when it's that dry. Like, I've had these lords. I didn't realize they were this dry. I didn't even know they even got half in. No, there's five left. Brad, I am ashamed of you. I can do this. Mmm. Now what? Mmm. Mmm. That's right, everyone. Welcome to Brad's Mukbang. Well, there's enough there for a crack. <laughs> the ultimate question is, what's worse? That I've just made an entire video out of a childhood snack that I'm probably the only person that was ever confused about the proper ratios. Or is it worse that you've all just watched this? I'll let you think on that. I'm going to be picking lunch blood out of my teeth for a whole fucking day.